it's spooky season, so let's tier rank a bunch of LEGO Disney villain minifigures. Hello everyone, welcome to Second Brick to the Left. Here we talk about LEGO set news, reviews and tips. Before we dive in, please be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm sure you are all aware of how tier rankings work by now. We'll go through each villain minifigure and assign them to one of the five rows depending on how good or how bad they are. First up, we've got one of my favourite villains, it's Captain Hook. He appeared in the first Disney collectible minifigure series, or CMF for short. We're starting strong with him. He's got a printed torso, printed legs, and there's even a little printing on his arms. He's got a hook, a cutlass, and that hat with attached hair and fabulous plume is perfect. His face is really accurate too. He is an instant S tier. Next, we've got Gaston from the Disney Villain Icon set. I strongly believe Gaston isn't a villain. Sure, he's a bit of a jerk, but he's trying to save his village and the woman he, I don't want to say loves, but certainly likes from an evil beast. Anyway, as an official villain, let's rank him. He's got printing on his torso, legs and arms, and even has yellow hands to represent his gloves. He's very accurate and he's even got abs. He's a great minifigure, A tier. Next is the Evil Queen from the Disney 100 CMF series. She's got a printed torso and skirt, and her head features the black hood and striking red lips. Her crown is spot on too. She came with a magic mirror who has a minifigured inspired face. We like her a lot. She can go next to Gaston, A tier. We're staying with the Evil Queen with the next figure. It's the Evil Queen in disguise from the Disney villain icon set. I'm not a fan. Her hair is printed on the torso, and besides some lines on her outfit, there's not too much to comment about. Her face is nicely done, and she does look like the character, but it's very underwhelming compared to the previous Evil Queen. I think we're going to put her into D tier. Next, we've got Maleficent. This is another minifigure from the Disney villain icon set although there was a previous version of her in one of the CMF series. She is fantastic. She's got a light aqua face with matching hands. Her makeup is spot on. She's got printing on her torso and skirt. Plus she comes with a fabric collar in black and purple. Her horned headpiece is amazing. She's got to go into S tier. Next is Ursula from the first Disney CMF series. It's very clear to see who this minifigure is supposed to be. Her face is perfectly Ursula. Her hair is great too. Her torso is printed and includes the shell necklace that held Ariel's voice. And she has tentacle legs. Is she an S tier or an A tier? I can't think how they could improve her. She's got to go to S tier. Next up, are you ready? It's Dr. Facilier. He's from the Disney 100 CMF series. I love his hat. It's spot on and they've even included the narrow plume. His face is really accurate and he has a printed torso with a little bit of printing on his feet. I think he could be improved with some coattails, so he's going into A tier. The next minifigure is the Queen of Hearts. She's another one from the Disney 100 CMF series. I love her dress. She's got a printed torso and a wide printed skirt. Her crown is cute and she comes with a fabric collar. I do like her, but there's something very off about her face. I think it's the lack of smile lines. I think she's a B tier minifigure. I could drop her to C. Nah, let's keep her at B. Next up is Ernesto De La Cruz. He's another one from the Disney 100 CMF series. 
The patterns on his hat, arms and legs are really pretty. I like the big printed bow on his torso too. I get they've tried to make him appear skeleton like with the dark printing on his torso, but I wonder if they could have used a transparent base, like the heads and legs of the ghost minifigures in the Silent Mary set, and printed on that. Or actually gone for something more moulded. We've got Lego skeletons, surely a hybrid would be feasible, but probably not cost effective. I don't hate the black though. I love the quiff in his hair. He's got to be A tier. Next is Syndrome from The Incredibles. He was in the first Disney CMF series. He's got printed arms, legs and a torso and comes with a cape. His hair is fantastic too and I quite like the smirk he's got. His outfit, although accurate, isn't super complex and the eyes are kind of killing this for me. They're so bright. Has he been exposed to too much spice? He's a solid B tier. The next minifigure is Jafar. He's from the Disney CMF series too. He's got a printed torso, a cape with shoulder armour and an impressive turban. His face is perfect for Jafar. His outfit is quite simple, but it is accurate. He's an easy A tier. The next minifigure is Genie Jafar from the Disney Villain Icon set. He's a nice vibrant red and I like the gold printing on his arms. I'm not quite sure they've captured him though. The beard is all wrong and look at those tiny little puny arms. He's got impressive abs though. He's a C tier minifigure. Next up is Cruella de Vil from the Disney 100 CMF series. She's got her famous jewel tone hair and yellow, black and red outfit, which is made up of a printed torso, printed legs and a cape. She's almost perfect, but her cape isn't quite furry enough and her facial expression doesn't seem unhinged enough either. So she'll go into A tier. Our final minifigure is Hades from the Disney CMF series 2. I'm not sure I love his face, they've done him dirty and his hair is giving ice not fire. His outfit is good though, he's got printing on his torso and lower half as well as his arms. The shape of his lower half represents his swirly effect well. That face is unforgivable though, I'm so sorry Hades, you've got to go to C tier. Well that's our Disney villain minifigures here ranked. Do you agree with my rankings? Let me know in the comments below or tell me what changes you'd make. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.